Hello friends! Today's myth is going to be a quick one, but it's a fun one. This is how it was discovered. Kingsnake was the strongest of them all. This myth comes to us from the Kickapoo tribe. Kickapo. I'm not sure which pronunciation is correct because each tribe has their own language, so I've only ever seen this written down. I haven't heard it spoken aloud. But we're going to get right into this. A long time ago, all of the snake people gathered together for a powwow, a big party where all the tribes were together. And naturally, when you get all of the tribes together, it's a good time to look for a mate. And so all of the snake women were looking at all of the snake men and thinking, hmm, who's the strongest? The, who's the fastest? Who has the prettiest scales? So naturally, the men wanted to show off. And as is typical, things got heated amongst the men folk. But to understand why, we need to understand who was present. So all the various men snakes lined up. There was black snake. King snake, bull snake, gopher snake, copperhead, rattlesnake, garter snake, even some cotton mouths and water snakes. It was decided that the first event would be a foot race. Now, we know that some of these snakes are at an advantage on land. So it wasn't a surprise when black snake came in first. After all, he is sometimes known as the Blue Racer. But Rattlesnake, true to his nature being heated, grew angry at his loss. So heated, in fact, that he wanted to kill Black Snake. So, hoping to get away with it, before the next event started, he began to wrestle with Black Snake. Of course, some of the other men noticed. And they wanted to get in on the action. So a grand brawl broke out amongst the male snakes. There was such a terrible ruckus, they even started a hailstorm. But when the dust settled and the hail stopped, there was one clear victor. King Snake had defeated all the others, thus proving that he was the strongest, toughest, fastest, and just, in general, best snake of them all. As I said, this one's a short one, but a good one. Hope you enjoyed it, and that snakes aren't too big of a problem for you. Do all the YouTube things, if you would. Like, comment, subscribe. And I have recently started a Buy Me A Coffee page. So if you've got some extra cash lying around and have appreciated what I'm doing, consider leaving me a tip. As always, until next time, Walk in the light, my friends. Bye.